Disclaimer All the materials and examples used in this video are only for educational purpose. Hacking or attempting to hack anything without permission is illegal. Hey guys, Benki here. Hope you all doing good. Welcome back to another episode of How to Hack series. Today I am going to show you multiple ways to exploiting HTTP put method and hack a server in less than a minutes. This video tutorial is related to exploiting the HTTP put method vulnerability through various techniques. First, we will determine if the HTTP put method is enabled on the target victim machine. If we identify vulnerability then we will utilize several different methods to upload a netcat reverse shell on the target and compromise the same. Ok. What is HTTP put method? Put method was originally intended as one of the HTTP method used for file management operations. If the HTTP put method is enabled on the web server it can be used to upload a malicious resource to the target server, such as a web shell, and execute it. As this method is used to change or delete the files from the target server's file system, it often results in a rising in various file upload vulnerabilities, leading the way for critical and dangerous attacks. So our target machine is metasploitable and its IP address is 192.168.1.157. Our attacker machine is Kali Linux and its IP address is 192.168.1.178. OK. Let's begin the show. Boot your Kali Linux machine, IP. 192.168.1.178 and in parallel type victim ip is 192.168.1.157 in the firefox browser and click on webdiv as we can see from the screen it is listing only the parent directory first of all we need to ensure that the vulnerable target machine has the http put method allowed us to upload malicious backdoors in order to confirm the same, we need to scan the target using Nikto. Nikto is a popular web server scanner that tests web servers for dangerous files CGIs, outdated server software and other issues. It also performs generic and server type specific checks. Use this command to scan the URL, Nikto HHTTP 192.168.1.157 upon running the above command we can observe that the highlighted part in below screen displays that the http put method is allowed now let's hack the vulnerable target machine by uploading the php malicious file using the various techniques shown in upcoming sections prepare the malicious file to be uploaded we can use the reverse php payload by copying it from webshell's directory these shells are available in Kali Linux machine by default. CPUs or share web shells PHP PHP reverse shell dot PHP reverse shell dot PHP. Now, in order to capture the remote shell, let's manipulate the IP parameter with the Kali machine's IP. This will help us to open a netcat listener and create reverse shell connection from victim's machine to target machine. OK. Now explore the first exploitable method using Cadaver tool. Cadaver is a command line tool pre-installed in the Kali machine that enables the uploading and downloading of a file on webdiv. Type the target host URL to upload the malicious file using the command given below. Cadaver HTTP 192.168.1.157-1. Now once we are inside the victim's directory, upload the file reverseshell.php from the desktop to the target machine's path by executing the below command. Put root desktop shell.php. To verify whether the file is uploaded or not, run the URL http 192.168.1.157 dav on the browser. Awesome. As we can see, the malicious file reverse shell.php has been uploaded on the web server. But wait. 
before clicking on the reverse shell.php link on your browser, let's start our Netcat listener on attacker machine. Netcat NLVP1234. Bingo. As soon as we execute reverse shell PHP file, which means as soon as we click on the reverse shell PHP file, we can notice that reverse shell connection created from target machine to attacker machine. So we successfully hacked victim web server using vulnerable HTTP put method and cadaver tool. Now explore the second exploitable method using nmap tool. nmap is an appenser's port scanner and network exploitation tool. If put method is enabled on any web server, then we can also upload a malicious file to a remote web server with the help of nmap. In parallel, prepare the malicious file nmap.php to upload to the target server. We going to copy it from the web shell directory as we did in first method. Here is the nmap exploitable command. nmap p8192.168.1.157 script http put script args http put dot url equals dav nmap dot php http put dot file equals nmap dot php. We must specify the file name and url path with nse arguments. Bingo. As see here, the nmap.php file has been uploaded successfully. Type the same URL in browser HTTP 192.168.1.157 DAV and execute the same. As to evident, the file nmap.php has been uploaded on the web server. Simultaneously, let's start our Netcat listener on attacker machine. Netcat NLVP1234. As soon as we execute nmap.php file, which means as soon as we click on the nmap.php file, we can notice that reverse shell connection created from target machine to attacker machine. So we successfully hacked victim web server using vulnerable HTTP put method and nmap tool. Next we going to use metasploit tool to exploitable the same. This is third method. Metasploit Framework is a well-known platform for developing, testing, and executing exploits. It is an open-source tool for performing various exploits against the target machines. This module can abuse misconfigured web servers to upload and delete web content via put and delete HTTP requests. Set action to either put or delete. Put is the default. Metasploit has in built auxiliary modules dedicated to scanning HTTP methods and use auxiliary scanner HTTP HTTP put. Set roasts 192.168.1.103. Set payload PHP metaprinter reverse TCP. Set path dav. Set file name meter.php. Set philodata file meter.php. Finally, exploit. Type the same URL in browser HTTP 192.168.1.157 DAV and execute the same. As to evident, the file meter.php has been uploaded on the web server. Simultaneously, let's start our Netcat listener on attacker machine. Netcat NLVP1234. As soon as we execute meter.php file, which means as soon as we click on the meter.php file, we can notice that reverse shell connection created from target machine to attacker machine. So we successfully hacked victim web server using vulnerable HTTP put method and metasploit tool. Final and fourth exploitable method using curl tool. Curl is a well-known command line tool to send or receive the data using the URL syntax. It is compatible with various well-known protocols such as HTTPS, FTP, SCP, LDAP and Telnet etc. To exploit the put method with curl, 
the command is curl http 192.168.1.157 dav upload file curl.php v type the same url in browser http 192.168.1.157 dav and execute the same as to evident the file curl.php has been uploaded on the web server simultaneously let's start our netcat listener on attacker machine as soon as we execute curl.php file which means as soon as we click on the curl.php file we can notice that reverse shell connection created from target machine to attacker machine. So we successfully hacked victim web server using vulnerable HTTP put method and curl tool. That's all for today guys. Hope this video helps. Note, all the commands and codes used in this tutorial are captured in the video description. You can refer to this anytime later. As a best practice, the file access permissions of the organization's critical servers should be strictly limited with restricted access to authorized users, if in case the organization absolutely must have these methods enabled. Note, in this tutorial, we are using a vulnerable metasploitable target machine for pentesting purposes and to illustrate the use of various tools. In the next video, we will be focusing on how to perform cross-site scripting attack. We publish video every week. To stay up to date and aware of such cyber risks and learn about more hacking tools, consider subscribing to my channel by clicking on the subscribe and bell button on the top right corner of the page. Thanks for watching. See you soon.